Now, as Vedic meditators, you may or may not remember, but us as teachers, we bang on about how you, it needs to be effortless. And if you're anything like me, it's very easy to forget that part. You're like, okay, effortless, yeah, yeah, meditation, blah, blah, blah. And you'll get down, you'll, you know, you'll leave the course and you'll go away and you'll, you'll just start cranking it out. You'll be like, mantra, 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 mantra. Because it's very easy to forget that one of the key principles is, is this one of effortlessness. Because we're trained to use effort to succeed in everything else we do, everywhere from at school, through university and in work, um, and in any sporting endeavors, it's all about put more effort in, get more results out. So when we leave the course, it's easy for us to go, okay, you know, to succeed at meditation, I need to ram the mantra in and force all the other thoughts out. And if I put in more and more willpower, I'll be able to get more results. But that's not how it works in meditation because meditation is the game of relaxation. And to be able to relax, it's more about letting go than holding on. And to let go, it's about not caring whether you manage to stay hold of, uh, stay with the mantra or not. It's not about whether you can have a really deep experience or not. It's about giving up expectations and letting go and taking the experience as it comes. Now, I guess that's easier said than done. And I spent weeks, if not months, using too much effort. And, you know, that's not bad for you, but it just means that you're not going to be getting the most out of this practice. You're not going to be accessing those deeper states and you're not going to be enjoying your meditations that much. You'll still be getting benefit. You'll still be closing all those browser tabs, but you won't be having the enjoyable experience, which is going to make you want to come back day after day. Now, the rule we talk about with this is that we don't use any effort. In meditation and if you're finding yourself using effort and you catch yourself using effort the advice is to stop thinking the mantra so we would rather not think the mantra at all than use it with effort so to do that you know you just take your foot off the accelerator stop thinking the mantra and you can either just sit there in silence um, allowing whatever strong thoughts or emotions are coming through or you can instead put your awareness in your body so that we call this the body feeling technique where similar to the, the body scan which you get in mindfulness except with body feeling rather than going systematically through the body we pick an area of our body where we we are inclined to go so if you're feeling uh, angry say you may feel a certain sensation in your chest if you're feeling nervous you may feel something in your in your belly so you're finding yourself forcing the mantra, so you, you stop thinking it, and again, you put your awareness in your body. So say, I'll rest my awareness in my chest, and I may find that I find a sensation there, and it may increase, and then it may dissipate. And then I'll find that at some point, I'll be lost in thought again, at which point I'll start thinking the mantra again. Now, that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to try not to think the mantra for a while. So instead of thinking it, you go, right, I'm just gonna not think it and see what happens. And what you will find because you've been meditating for how long, however long you've been meditating, day after day, week after week, month after month, you've repeated this mantra so many times that it takes on a life of, it, of its own and it becomes automatic. And in sitting there and not thinking it, you may find that it it appears on its own. It starts just chugging away there on its own. And when it does that, you'll notice how effortless it is. So what we say is, see if you can think the mantra as effortlessly as you think any other thought. So if you sit for a moment and, and you know, allow your mind to, 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 to fall to rest, you'll find that thoughts pop into your head. And if you do an exercise doing this, you'll notice that there's, there's no energy or effort required for a thought to appear in your head. It just kind of plops in there. Now, that's exactly the amount of effort we want to use when we think the mantra, which is to say no effort at all. So if you're finding yourself um, using effort, as I said, just take your foot off the accelerator and try not thinking it. Another way to, to approach it is to try turning the volume down. So instead of saying the mantra out, out loud in your head, 
Um, saying the mantra in your head, it's more like you're hearing the mantra. You're hearing it and then progressively you can go through the layers of subtlety by thinking how quietly can I hear this? Am I hearing it not as a, uh, a spoken word but more of a, more of a whisper? or an echo of a whisper, or a whisper in the next room. Um, because as we progress as meditators, we go through infinite levels of subtlety with the mantra. And it's the, the more subtle states, the quieter, the more faint and vague states of the mantra, that are more appealing to the mind and will draw it in further and further, and again will allow you to access deeper and deeper states. So give these tips a try and get in touch if you want to hear more.